Hey, Marcus here from Heel Toe, welcoming you back to the Heel Toe YouTube channel and our TLX Type S is back on the lift. As you can see, the brake rotors have glazed. We have racing brake two-piece rotors and um, XT910 brake pads in here, which have been working great for the street, but I took the car to a couple of track days and severely overheated the brakes and caused this glazing. Uh, if you're not aware, glazing is what happens when the brake pads get overheated and then they put a thick transfer layer on the surface of the rotor. And this transfer layer uh, is actually not smooth. It's got high and low spots, high and low friction spots. And this is what causes shaking when you try to brake with your car. That's right, it's not uh, warping that's causing that. I did a whole podcast about this that I'll link in the description. But uh, if you want to know more about the brake rotor warping myth, definitely listen to that. But these rotors are shaking a little bit. When we come to a stop, uh, even in moderate driving, which is super annoying for my wife, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean up this transfer layer off of here. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna throw in a different set of brake pads. Uh, many of you are familiar with the racing brake XT910 brake pads and what a good street sort of compound they are as an upgrade over stock. The stock pads do this transfer layer as well, but they do it like all the time on any rotor, it, it's super annoying. So racing brake pads have been a good upgrade for people looking to get out of this shaking situation. Um, but there's more than one option available. The Carbotec is a really great compound as well. Uh, Carbotec, if you're not aware, makes um, anything from a mild street performance all the way up to full competition brake pads. Uh, these are the entry level 1521 Bobcat pads, which are uh, meant to be a street sport pad. Um, so we're gonna clean up the rotors. I'll show you how to get rid of this transfer layer um, and then we'll put those pads in and see how they go. Okay, I've got the caliper uh, off and suspended by a bungee cord and the rotor can come off now. And you can see, um, see what I'm talking about here. Like look at this shiny, almost mirror-like surface that the brake rotor has on it on the front and on the back. So this is what's causing a lot of that uneven braking feel is this uh, transfer layer. Now this can happen in varying thicknesses. Um, it doesn't always result in such aggressive glazing as this, but uh, even if it's a mild coating that's uneven, you'll get that shaking pretty violently in the steering wheel. So how do you get rid of this? Well, number one thing people like to do is uh, resurface the rotor and you can use put this in a lathe and cut this off and then you'll have a nice fresh surface uh, for braking. Uh, also though, if you're in a pinch and you don't have a lathe, you can use uh, sandpaper or emery cloth or whatever to like take it down, right? You can break it up a little bit so that when you go down and do another bedding event, you can clear up this a little bit more just by putting different brake pads in. Um, I've gotten away with just putting new pads in and then uh, heating the crap out of them, but the new pads being more aggressive than the ones that you had, will take off this layer and put a new layer for the new pads on there. Uh, Carbotech specifically says not to do that. They say you absolutely must have a fresh transfer layer from their brake pads. Um, I haven't put them um, in enough cars to really know how critical that actually is, but I do uh, understand what they're saying by that. So with these, I'm gonna actually try to just rough them up with some sandpaper or sanding blocks and um, get enough of a breakup in the surface that I can bed in new pads and see how they work. I mean, that's kind of how, you know, the home mechanic is gonna try to do it. So let's give it a try and see what happens. All right, so I got the brake rotor back on the car. After scuffing up the surface, I used my uh, drill with a flap wheel. Uh, this is a 60 grit flap wheel. Anyway, you just need to rough up the surface. As you can see, I've got like a little bit of a cross hatching on here, kind of like what the rotors come with when they're new. Obviously, this is not as refined as, as a factory finish, but that should get the job done. And I got the Carbotech pads all loaded up in the caliper, everything torqued down. So the next thing to do is to take it out, bed them in, and um, yeah, see how, they, see how they work out. All right, I took the TLX out and I bed in the new brake pads, uh, which is just a process of getting it up to speed and then braking you know, firmly and hard, um, probably harder than you think you need to. You really kind of want, with performance pads like this, especially if you're like re-bedding, you got to get some smoke coming off the, the, the pads. You know, you got to get them pretty hot, but you don't do it like super aggressively. Like work your way up in speed to slow down and then let it cool off for a little while and do it a couple more times. And you really kind of got to like work in the brakes and you can start feeling at some point 
they just start feeling like they're working really, really good. And, uh, and then stop, you know, just cruise around, let them cool off. Uh, don't touch the brakes. When you come to a stop, don't throw on the e-brake, just throw it in park and let it sit and cool. And when you're done, um, you should have a better looking finish on the rotors. So you can see here we have, uh, it's shiny, but it's not like reflective, like when it was all glazed. And all of my cross hatching is mostly gone because I bet in the new Carbotech pads. They have put their own transfer layer on there, but it's this dull satin, which is what you want. Um, the racing brake pads looked like this too before I glazed them. So in general, that's the kind of finish that you're looking for, not something uh, super shiny or glossy looking. Uh, the other thing to mention is these Carbotech pads, uh, they don't have wear indicators on them, so you will wanna monitor your brake life uh, like you probably normally would. Just be aware that if you go a bit long without checking and they wear down, you'll score the rotors and that's not good. <clears throat> My initial impression of the Carbotech pads is they feel pretty smooth. They didn't make any noise when I was uh, bedding them in, and they stopped the car really, really well. Uh, Elise is gonna be driving the car now, so uh, we'll get some feedback from her on how she likes those Carbotech brakes. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video on clearing up that glazing and re-bedding pads and getting a new fresh finish on there. If you're having trouble with uh, braking, shaking while you're braking, look for that glazing on the rotors and um, you could take care of it just like I did with the you know, sanding it down and, and re-bedding new pads that are just a little bit more aggressive. Because if you're glazing uh, pads on the rotors, you probably need something a little more aggressive. And if you need some tips on what you should get, definitely hit us up, leave some comments down below, and um, I'll try to throw some Q&A up in the description as good questions are asked. Heel Toes in your corner, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.